Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So this is your July 2024 prediction, everyone. I'm super excited about today's reading for you. The month of July, personally for me, is my favorite month. This is where I find that the sun is the most brightest. I love the energy that it brings into our lives. Spirit is calling all of us to be open, to allow the sun to shine its light in our lives. All right, so I'm getting this song, The Sun is Shining and the Weather is Sweet by Bob Marley. I don't know if any of you are listening to this, but it's one of my favorite songs to listen to around this time as I'm driving around town running errands. All right, so what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a guardian angel oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a spirit animal card. And then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you. Okay, we're going to close off with an angel number as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Sagittarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear in this month of July. So we are getting light warrior. You, my friends, are light warriors. I'm going to read you the message of this card. You are a radiant soul called to bring light to this world. Let your light shine brightly and effortlessly. You bring hope and love to those you encountered. So once again, you are a radiant soul Call to bring light to this world, Sagittarius. Let your light shine brightly and effortlessly. You bring hope and love to those you encounter. So look at that. You're meant to shine your light and you're meant to help others shine their light as well. You're here to teach and inspire. I don't know if any of you are seeing um, a ball like this. Uh, perhaps you have a crystal ball, one that maybe lights up. It's coming in as a confirmation today. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through for you. So the Eight of Pentacles. Look at this, a lot of energy that you're putting into your work. A lot of results you're going to see with that energy being put into your work. So wherever you're wanting to see growth, that's where you need to put your energy this month of July. All right, Sagittarius, so the Eight of Pentacles. We're getting the Six of Swords. So there's this beautiful stream of energy. This is a very peaceful stream of energy and Spirit is call calling you to cultivate this um, serene, peaceful, calm energy within yourself because as you flow through this river, there's focus here. You're gonna see a lot of results, a lot of fruition and fulfillment in your life, okay? So a steady flow here. Now, what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. And the 10 of cups, look at where it's leading you. This is your happy place. This is the place of abundance, prosperity, happiness, love, excitement, joy. Everything exists here. This is where you're headed. This is where spirit is taking you this month. This month of July is going to be very powerful for you, Sagittarius. So look at that 10 of cups. All right. So before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Sagittarius. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind but also check out your moon and your rising signs. So what a beautiful spread here for you today. A lot of improvements in your life, a lot of growth, 
a lot of excitement, a lot of connections coming in. So there's a healing journey that some of you are going through as you're moving through your life experience, especially this year, 2024. There's a lot that you're letting go of. And this is what Spirit really wants me to talk about first is the Six of Swords energy. This is you working on yourself. There's this healing that is happening, letting go, this releasing, surrendering. And um, what I'm feeling here is this has been a long road for some of you, this healing, right? And you're now coming to this place where you're feeling this calm, more peaceful energy. And it's because there is this um, peace that is um, starting to wake up within you. It's starting to finally come through. So there's a lot that is opening up through this. It almost feels like you're being given a blank canvas, this realization like, okay, now that I'm over that, I've come to terms with it. I built a relationship around it. These are now my strengths. I can now look forward. So I'm seeing you looking forward and seeing things a little bit more clearly. Some of you have gone through a loss, uh, losing a loved one, right? A loss. There's some pain and grief that you've healed through. Some of you are still going through that healing. Allow yourself to heal, but don't hold on to things here. This is an experience that some of us have gone through where we've experienced a loss of a loved one, a loss of something, a part of ourselves, whatever this was for you. This was an experience you are meant to go through because you're, be, you're evolving, you're becoming that version of you and that experience is what you needed to go through in order to come to this place. And that's that realization, realization that is happening through this energy of the six of swords. So I feel there's this, a, a lot of internal love. The number six, those of you that are seeing the number sixes, uh, the number eights and the number tens, these are confirmations coming in. Perhaps your life path number uh, six, number eight, or a number one, okay? So um, these numbers could be significance. Perhaps you're even seeing the number 6810 like 6810 in a phone number on a house address on a license plate, right? Um, again, these are confirmations that this reading is for you today, okay? So there's this beautiful flow that you're moving along. And what I'm getting is some of you don't even don't even realize how long it's been and you're finally at that point where you're starting to see things clearly. You're like, okay, I'm moving past this. I'm releasing that now. I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to see ahead. And there's a lot of light there. There's angels standing there welcoming you, inviting you in. And they're showing you the beauty of what you can create now moving forward. So I'm seeing a lot of forward movement through this card for you. All right, so that's the Six of Swords. Leaving behind things that once used to bother you, that used to hurt you. Um, this is, I feel this almost has to do with age even. Like you come a long way, you've gone through really tough situations with people, been in relationships with tough people, even yourself being tough and working through some of those, learning about yourself, growing. And you've come to this point now, I think this is like 45, 50, perhaps even earlier, like sometimes even at the age of 30, 35, we can start to feel this shift. Um, there's more peace that comes and we start to settle in with ourselves, um, our life, some of the shifts, things aren't as serious as they, as they once were. So there's this like settling of energies coming in with this. It's not that you're settling for someone. It's just a settling a, you know, when you shake a bottle that has dirt in it and you put it down, you see the dirt floating around. This is where the dirt finally settles. Okay, this is that Six of Swords energy. And this could be dirt that was in your family, the dirt in some relationships at work. Things are finally settling down here. And there's a lot of energy that you're going to put out. You're, there's a lot of energy that you have. And Spirit is saying to you, it's never too late to shine your light. It's now time to get to work here, Sagittarius. And this is a card of hard work and effort. You're going to see that um, I feel you're a walking testament. Um through your life's experience, you're a walking testament of some sort of purpose and you're meant to share your light. The experiences that you have gone through, you have so many of them. You have conquered them. You have come to this place that is successful, that is peaceful. Whatever success means to you, Sagittarius, it's all coming in this month of July. 
Okay, this is where all of this energy is starting. Some of you are already feeling this. You're already seeing yourselves coming to this point. So there's, there's almost like this juggling. There's this creativity here, really working with your power, channeling that energy into something productive, something creative, right? So some of you are going to start working on passion projects. Maybe there is this uh, realignment um, this alignment of energy to something else. Perhaps you're wanting to change your career. There's a major shift that um, where your focus is on something else and you're wanting to put more energy. Maybe there's no rhyme or reason for why you're feeling like this. It's just an urge, a calling, a feeling. Follow that. All right, follow that, especially if it has to do with you reaching out to people, you wanting to spread the word of love, you wanting to spread the word of God even. Whatever this is for you, you're meant to follow that passion. This is a part of your purpose. This is what you're opening up to. And your purpose is you are a light warrior meant to spread light around the world here, Sagittarius. So go do exactly that is what spirit is saying here with this card. There's mastery. So perhaps some of you are finding that you're interested in something. Maybe it's a tarot readings. Maybe you're wanting to make a YouTube channel and start filming tarot readings. So mastery is involved here. They're wanting you to put your energy into learning skill sets, into mastery, relieving yourself from fear, turning those fears into your greatest strengths by mastering them, by overcoming them, right? So you're very powerful at this time. And through that power and energy that you put out into the world, Sagittarius, this is where you're going to see a lot of results. This is where you're not afraid. You have a lot of confidence, right? You're going to naturally find this energy here in this place. Uh, again, this is an inward look at yourself, right? This is you really getting to know yourself on a deeper level. And um, what I'm getting here is some of you have gone through a situation in your life where you ended up by yourself or feeling like you were disconnected and found yourself to be in this lonely place, perhaps a place of solitude, something that you have needed for a very long time. And perhaps you didn't know you needed it until you were in this place where it almost, um, it feels like it almost forced you to look inward, but it wasn't. It was this natural thing that was meant to happen through the experience of that detachment, loneliness, solitude, where you could come to this place of realization and understanding and then realign yourself, recenter yourself and focus on something that's ahead, which is giving you a clear picture of what's ahead and then working towards that. It's like all of a sudden you've been topped up with energy. You're like, you know what? I'm going to build this new life for myself and I don't care about this past. Everything I'm detaching myself from it. I'm now moving forward. It's like you took this um, armor off. Perhaps you were wearing an armor, guarding yourself. And as you healed, as you grew, as you evolved, and all of a sudden this, you outgrew this armor that needed to come off. And now there's a little bit of vulnerability here. This is coming through the six of swords here. And there's no fear of that vulnerability. You're like, you know what? I need to do this finally. I'm going to put that energy into exploring the possibilities around maybe being a little bit vulnerable, maybe seeing, you know, if I put my energy and effort into this consistently commit to it, perhaps I'll see some results through it. I'll see some progress. I'll see what it is that I've been wanting to see through the efforts and the energy that I put into this. So I'm seeing you working away here busy 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 and it's not a negative busy because I'm seeing you taking care of yourself in between here okay so you've done that healing you've done that processing and now you're ready to work you're ready to create there's a lot of creations coming out here through you like a lot I'm seeing an increase in income so let's go to physical reality here because this energy exists in your material world so you're going to see an increase of things that you are creating right? This could be writing things. That's a, that's a creation, right? So you got a lot of papers going because you're writing poetry, perhaps. Um, you're practicing, you're learning. Um, this could be projects that you're working on. Perhaps you are uh, making candles. Maybe you're making magic intention candles and you're, you got this huge workload. So I'm getting an incoming energy of people wanting your work, people wanting um, your energy here. So just be mindful of energy vampires, have some healthy boundaries up, but know that those of you, especially that are wanting to expand in your business, this is a great time for you to showcase your creations, to really market yourself, get yourself out there, get people seeing your things here, talk about it, 
take it to the stores, um, you know, uh, the community, maybe start there. So it's really a good time to get yourself and your products out there, okay? Because this is where you're going to see a growth in your income and in your physical reality. It's all about you taking your work out there, okay? So look at that. It's like a storefront. Um, even a kiosk somewhere. We've got the Ten of Cups. You're building your happy place. You're you're creating this energy where I feel you've been desiring this since you were a little child, Sagittarius, where you have this presence in the community, this presence in front of people. This is you as your own brand even. So this is really interesting. I don't know if any of you make soap. Perhaps you are working in the spiritual field here, uh, doing Reiki, perhaps tarot readings, um, hypnotherapy, quantum therapy, right? Whatever this is for you, I'm seeing a lot of success coming in, especially if you're visualizing this in your mind, if you know what that looks like for you. So really visualize what this happy place is for you, Sagittarius, and watch it unfold in your life through the energy that you put out there in order to create it. I'm getting a lot of connections here. Network networking for you is going to be very powerful as well. So um, this is where you really get yourself out there to communicate, to mix and mingle with people. Any fears that you have right now of communicating, these are things that you want to put aside um, and it's time to turn your light on and let's share this light with others. Okay, if you have a fear of socializing or talking to people, maybe take a course on this, learning how to speak to people. Right, this is what I did a long time ago is I watched a tons of YouTube videos on how to articulate myself, how to communicate. And um, I've taken a few now, even because sometimes I feel insecure about the way that I communicate. Um, it's sometimes I just have something in my mind. I just don't know how to articulate it in the moment as I'm seeing it. So I might flip and flop over words or perhaps go around until I figure out, okay, that's what I was wanting to say here. So this is the kind of energy that is coming in for you. It's expansive. There's a lot of growth, there's community, there's um, collective energy here. This is everybody working together. There's an expansion here in your family as well. So I feel that things are gonna be feeling really good for you in July. It's a really good time to spend more time with family, just your family unit, your children, your husband, your wife, Whoever you want to give love to, now is the time to spread that love, right? So um, what I'm getting here are barbecues. Some of you are hosting an event in your home. This is going to go really well. Take it easy. Um, you want to enjoy this moment as well because I feel you're putting something together where we have this collective energy. And you know, whenever we have these energies, we create this like energetic portal almost, almost, and you feel these good things happening. So you just want to cultivate this beautiful energy music. I'm getting music playing here. Um, ear gates are open as well. So this is where um, influence through music and things that we hear are going to, um, because your senses are heightened at this time, Sagittarius, I do feel that through this healing process, connecting with yourself, you've connected to your higher self spirit. There's some spiritual gifts that are also developing here where there's heightened senses. So um, some of you are picking up on people's energies, energies that um, are unfamiliar to you and maybe you're feeling them and you're kind of like, what's going on here? Why am I feeling this way? So this is where you observe your emotions. Give yourself 90 seconds to breathe through this energy, to observe the emotion as it passes through you, as you feel it. Allow yourself to feel it. It's like, okay, this is happening. Why is this happening? Let's breathe through it and count to 90. And once it passes, you'll gain some clarity, right? Then you'll know, okay, this isn't my energy. This is someone else's energy. Or, you know, if you're being triggered in some way because of some social event, Breathing through that, give yourself 90 sex seconds, count from 1 to 90 here. And you'll see that that emotion will pass, okay? And you're going to be able to think clearly. Um, I don't know if any of you have a party coming up. Maybe there is uh, someone's birthday, an event. There is some sort of an experience through another person that you're meant to experience with this event here. This is what I'm getting. Um a connection is taking place here as well. So some of you might find um, a soulmate or a twin flame energy at an event. Maybe this has already happened and there is almost like this connection to that event 
in your now happening, a reminder of, oh my gosh, look how far we've come. We're, we're now, you know, we met in our 20s, we're now in our 50s, 60s, 70s, and we're still here together. We built this beautiful, happy place, this energy, these children. So there's almost like this reminiscing over your life, this really thorough look at how beautiful life has been for you. Even through those challenges and struggles, you've come a far, a long way here. And there's more of this energy coming in. There's so much to be grateful for here, Sagittarius. So practicing gratitude in this place. All right, so beautiful things are unfolding for you here in the month of July. And remember to spread that light everywhere. Spread your light. Let's pull a animal spirit card for you. This is the Power Animals Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So anything more that spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card. And any of you that are seeing animals, um, this may give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we're getting dolphin. Have any of you seen a dolphin? This is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. So find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and just go with the flow. So this is this energy of the 10 of cups. So those really good emotions to be in that present moment of those good emotions. So once again, find wisdom in moments of fun and laughter. Take time out to have fun and just go with the flow. We've got that flow coming in. All right, so let's pull the interpretation here. So dolphin. All right, so where are you dolphin? Here we are. Amidst the boundless expansion of the ocean's depths, the dolphin emerges as a symbol of playfulness, intelligence, and the art of finding wisdom in moments of pure joy. With its joyful leaps and captivating communication, it offers us profound insights into the power of embracing our inner child and balancing the pursuit of knowledge with the gift of laughter. Picture the dolphin as it frolics in the azure waters, each leap a testament to its love for play and its deep connection with its pod. It is a creature that understands the importance of joy, knowing how to weave moments of fun and laughter in its daily life. The dolphin's existence serves as a poignant reminder of the significance of nurturing our playful spirit and the intelligent curiosity that defines us as humans. The dolphin teaches us the art of playfulness. Just as it revels in the delight of leaping through the waves, we too can learn to infuse our lives with moments of unbridled joy. It reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom should be balanced with the gift of laughter and play, for it is in these moments that we discover our true selves. From the dolphin, we also learn the wisdom of intelligence and communication. It is a creature known for its complex vocalizations and its ability to connect with its pod through intricate language. This deep form of communication mirrors the remarkable capacity of the human experience to forge connections, build relationships, and share knowledge with one another. The dolphin's message is clear. Embrace your inner child and trust in your ability to find wisdom in moments of joy and laughter. Your playful spirit and sharp mind are your greatest gifts. Just as a dolphin dances through the waves with ease and intelligence, so too can you dive into life with curiosity and enthusiasm, striking a harmonious balance between the pursuit of knowledge and the embrace of pure, unadulterated joy. So look at that. Embrace the energy of the dolphin, everyone. All right, let's pull three personal messages for you now. Um, feel free to pause this video, take a deep breath and connect to spirit, and then come back and place these messages wherever they resonate for you today. All right, so three personal messages for you. Sagittarius, your first message is, it's okay to be different. Don't try so hard to fit in. So once again, it's okay to be different, Sagittarius. Don't try so hard to fit in. So the second message is with greater awareness, you will find the answers you're looking for. So once again, with greater awareness, you will find the answers you're looking for. Third, you have so much to offer the world. Don't ever doubt your contribution. So once again, you have so much to offer the world. Don't ever doubt your contribution. So let's pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Sagittarius, divine love. Look at this. There's divine love coming in. Divine love is also 
in this card, okay? So the 10 of cups. Um, 40, 40, some of you are seeing these numbers in this sequence, 40, 40 on a license plate, perhaps on a phone number or a house address or somewhere else. Or perhaps you're seeing the number 40 or the number four. These are all confirmations. Those of you looking for timing, 40 days, 40 weeks, 40 hours. And um, what else is this that's coming in? 40 hours. That's it. Okay. So you are always loved. Sagittarius, remember, you are always loved. Look for the love in your life and know that angels are supporting you. Lots of love energy coming in, which is here in the Ten of Cups. There's so much love that resides here in this energy and it's all around you in your life right now. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.